Welcome back to another episode of Table Talk with Takeda X. My name is Raymond Liu, the Director of Marketing Communication, and I am here with today... Mr. Ram Wutron. And thank you so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you. All right, so for the name of the game is we're just going to ask you a couple questions so our viewers can get to know you a little bit more, and then let you just go from there, have a loose conversation. Feel free to give input as you see fit. All right? Most definitely. Awesome. All right, so first question here, we got what motivated you to sign up for TEDx CSULB? One of my dreams since I started sharing my story right. was, I mean, I'm just a big, big dreamer. So right. the moment I shared my story and I said, someone told me, that story really inspired me. And then immediately I was like, okay, if I can do this for you, I want to do this for multiple people. Right. So then I was like, okay, what's the biggest platform I can do? Right. And I said, TED Talk. Right, just automatic. Okay, I was like, top of my head. Oh, okay. I was like, I was gonna say, someone recommended you that. No. I was like, oh, no. Man. I thought to myself, yeah, like, really. what's? The, I've always been that type of guy. Right, like, right, right. What's the biggest thing I can do? And initially, I thought it was like, I'm gonna be a TED speaker. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah I got yeah. TED talk under my belt. And then as I practice, or at least let's go back to the point of how it came up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smorgasbord. Oh. I came to this this past uh, falls smorgasbord. Right. The fair. Walked around and I saw a TEDx tent because I already had this preconceived notion about yeah, yeah, yeah. TED Talk. Yeah, yeah. I kind of walk up awkwardly. I'm like, hey, uh, can, I, can I be a speaker right here? He's like, oh, awkwardly. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. I said, whoa, what? How will I do? You know, then I. Yeah. Then I was, <laughs> he just said, like, put your email what? down. Yeah. Yeah. He said, put your email down. We'll send you out an email. Send me out an email. And then I, I applied yeah. with the video submission, answering the questions. Right. Then I had the in person interview with you guys and I got right. accepted. And it was, I was elated. Yeah. Ecstatic, you know? I mean, and like, everything just fell into place. Stars aligned, right? Literally. At, and it's just so convenient, too, in terms of, like, when the, the seed was planted. Right. It just came and it sprouted. Right. And here it is. And I know. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about it, like, it's like that car you really want, and you just keep seeing it everywhere. Yeah, I was exactly. Like, All right. You might as well buy right. it. Right. I was like, <laughs> man, when you're looking at it, like a McLaren or something, I was oh, like, oh, all of a sudden, it's a McLaren right, right come there. On. Yeah. Of course. Awesome, awesome. All right, so the next one is, what inspired you to do the work that you do? I do multiple things. Okay. So I'm a student here, and I'm getting my teacher credential. Nice. And I'm, well, this is kind of like an in-between thing. I've always been passionate about the human body in my life. Right. And given the, the outcome of what happened with me, I, I'm empowered to move. Right. I'm empowered to do all these things again. Therefore, uh -huh. I'm also a personal trainer, and I help people, like, you know, get into whatever shape they choose, mm -hmm. the way they want to be, and I teach them. And then I tie everything with values. I'm never mm -hmm. a value-driven individual. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't do things just for the fact to do it. I do it because the reason is this, mm -hmm. and I want to share that with others. And then now, mm -hmm. in addition to that, it's like all these things are in alignment with education, with teaching. Right. And then, okay, I realize that the story has power. Mm -hmm. So I go out and do motivational speaking. Or inspirational speaking. Yeah, I was like, motivational speaking. Yeah, yeah, where, where can I find you? I was like, you have a page? I think, my, matter of fact, I decided to build a brand. Right. That for people can wear a symbol that they can be proud of because of the values that it means. Right. So this trident here represents pride, courage, and strength, right. which I talk about. And then I go out and I share that story in a, and I tie it into why these values are important. Mm -hmm. And then with these, with everything that I do, I go, I'm planning to mentor with... Uh, after school program to mentor children in underserved communities. Ooh. Yeah. And then I want to travel throughout the country to inspire hope, teach lessons, and do all these things, man. As an inspirational speaker. And with the brand as a back mm. backbone, you know? That's awesome. So you man. wear something, you know, like me, my words is one right, thing. Right, right, right. But then you represent it as another. Now you know this is you because mm. you know it's on your chest. That's why I'm really about. I'm happy. And you just want to be like a nomad, huh? Like a, like a everywhere. You going everywhere. Mm -hmm. like international global Every, and anywhere that i can because mm -hmm. i know ultimately is about the message and making a difference in someone else's life right because growing up i i wish i had that you right. know i wish i had someone saying that you know i believe in you right you know uh, or you know i i, I commend you you know as, especially yeah. as us asians you know yeah. like we're not we're not really told like i, I love you son yeah yeah you know or kind of you know i'm proud of everything you've done no no one's ever told me that yeah and not to say like i not to say that that affected me negatively, but that, right. that allowed me to see, okay, I want to do that for others. Yeah. That's why I decided to do what I do. Like do the non-traditional. Yes. Awesome. Definitely. Thank you for sharing yeah, that. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Uh, so the next question is, what is one key takeaway that you would like attendees to obtain from your TEDx presentation? 
with the three values that I share, I want them to apply to their life, whether right. it is, you know, personally, business, or to to share that message with someone else. Right. I know it's very vague and ambiguous, <laughs> but ultimately it's my story being the the example mm-hmm. of how you can overcome all these obstacles that's put in your way. Right. By applying certain things into your mindset. Mm-hmm. Like having pride in what you do, that serves as a driving force to you block out all the external factors of someone telling you you can't do that or who, yeah. you, who are you to do that right, right right and then having the courage to believe in yourself because we all come to points of where we cross self-doubt mm-hmm. right now this is internal force mm-hmm. so pride is the external force courage is believing in yourself to do what it is to face your fears mm-hmm. whatever self-doubt or that self-negative talk that you have in your mind mm-hmm. to push through internally and then you using those two values develop the strength to overcome that adversity. Nice. That's what exactly. So like the secret formula, bro. You're my my secret formula. formula. If it works for someone else, it'll work for them. And this is how you apply it. And if you had one value that you you had to choose out of all three, Ooh. like you have to discard the rest. It's like that, you know, that one food you can't live without thing. Yes. So if you had one value of your three, which one do you choose and why? Pride. Because and this isn't like the the type of pride that we speak of. Like, yeah, I'm too proud to be this yeah, or that. Yeah, no, yeah. it's about having pride in what you do as a human person or as right. as your as yourself as an individual. Right. I take pride in what I do for the people around me. Right. Because it's just more than me. Life is more than just you. Right. If I take pride in what I do for the people around me, that serves as a driving force for why I do the things that I do. You get what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, we we doing some poetry. So <laughs> just, like, a little, just a little, just a little, like, people thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, we higher level, we higher level. <laughs> awesome. All right, so then the last question yes. is, how would you describe your TEDx presentation? Oh, passionate. Yes. Relatable. Right. As well as emotional. Yeah. That's the three big, like, things that are tied because I, I share my whole life story. Mm-hmm. And I, in between sections of my life, Mm -hmm. I bring up the value that I learned from that moment. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, sequence it from chronological order. Right. From childhood all the way through now. And why I do the things I do. And then I was like, you kind of touched upon it. So I was just like going off of that. Mm -hmm. If you had to pitch your TED Talk to someone you didn't know. Right. I was like, you had to pitch. You can add this for me. Yeah, that could happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, if you had to pitch it to someone that you didn't know, yes. it's like, hey, I'm in a TED Talk. Well, how do you go about it? How do you go and describe it? I say, I have a TED Talk coming up. It's about three values that shaped my life. And I want to be able to use this va- these values mm-hmm. so ho- hopefully you can apply them to yourself too. Nice. That's a one liner. Nice. And it's all like at the end of the day, it's about how receptive the individual is. Right. So like I can tell you, but you know what? I'm disinterested. Then that's cool. But if I can just bring it like up front, boom. I was just like, yo, like yeah, check this. I go into the conference and I was like, you're a speaker. Yeah. Then I'm like, yeah, boom. Here's here's what I'm talking about. Three Mm -hmm. values that shaped my life. You apply to yours. See how it's like. Oh. Oh, you see what I mean? Oh, the give the give and take. You know the sneak peek type of thing. I like that. Like that. (laughs) <laughs> what do you mean? What? I don't know how I'm gonna do it now. Like after, after all, after all this, I'm like, yeah, how do I do it? I was like, <laughs> just toss a sweet chop and went the wrong. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah no. I'm gonna do PowerPoint, go from the syllabus, <laughs> <laughs> the whole lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, let's go for it. All right, so this is another question, a bonus question off the floor. Cool. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? That's not fitness, because you already you're gonna talk about that later. Yes. Uh, that's not hanging out with your friends and family, because that's you already explained that sure. too. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Me, my own free time, I enjoy sitting down, reading a book, drinking Ooh. some coffee. You wouldn't expect that. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. weird because you know, I have like a look. Active, like active, man. Yes. Yeah, right, active, yeah. man. That's why like, I always believe in balance, too. As much as I go out and do all these fitness things and I go out and do all these other things. Right. You also need time for yourself. And for me, it's like, okay, what can I do that's you know beneficial to my mental? Right. As well as growing, growth. So reading books of knowledge of how to, you know, think of things differently or how to attack things at different angles. That's what I'm talking like about. What am I like, what do you call it? Not a guilty pleasure, but what yeah. are my hidden, hidden yeah. pleasures, yeah. 
I was like, what's your favorite book right now? Uh, my it's actually a TED related book. Ooh. I read two so far. I'm on this last one, but my favorite book. Oh, that's on the ones you read so far. Okay, uh, it's called Legacy. Mm. Legacy. Uh, I forget what the author is, but he goes into the what do you call them? The rugby team of the All Blacks. Right. You know, so you know, international champions. Right. And then he breaks down like how do these how does this team have the core and cultural values in mm -hmm. within their team mm -hmm. to to achieve all these things without having the top elite athletes? Mm -hmm. And then they break it down and they go as to why and it's just like values, values, mm, value, and, you value. know, for your life, right. for your business, for anything. You know, mm. this is how you how you angle it or how you think. Yeah, mm. yeah, I'm about those books, bro. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. We'll talk more. We'll talk talk more offline. So that? you guys will have a sign up sheet to William Chung book club we'll tell you all about it <laughs> we'll tell you all about it awesome well thank you so much for the interview dude. thank you so thank much you. brother Pleasure. i appreciate you see always. um any last comments plugs where can people find you dude i have a personal or as of right now i i use empower at empowered by will for instagram mm -hmm. for you know the the branding aspect right you know clothing right. as well as message right and my personal one is just at will underscore strong if mm -hmm. you want to ever follow my personal life it's just what can people find there? What can people find? Oh, people can find me just doing my thing, you yeah. know, having being a human family time. Yeah, exactly. You know, like as much as, as, <laughs> as intense as I speak, <laughs> right, right, all these right. things you all you won't see me through the lens of like, man, this guy is probably super intense. Right, but I was like, oh, he's a sub. Yeah, I know. Nah, he's chill. You know? <laughs> I like to have a good time. You know, like family, yeah, family is everything to me. Right. So spending time with them, with my loved ones, people who support you. You know, that's all it's about. It's balance. 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 Yeah, I hope that trying to have balance. It will. It does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking really forward to it. I'm really confident. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So definitely, you heard it here, guys. Make sure to check out Will on all of his um, social media platforms and anything he wants to provide additional. And it will be all in the description box as well as text you. She'll be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Beach Think, wherever you can find us. We'll all include it there. See, if you like this sort of videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. We'll be providing more content in terms of all of our other speakers as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you on the next episode. That was it. Yeah. Good job, bro. You're good at this, dude.